What's up? We are officially vlogging. <laughs> Taylor's wanted to do this forever, but she puts it on my shoulders to vlog. Yeah, because who's going to watch something where it's literally just me? That's boring. Yeah, but my life is boring outside of hanging out with you guys. That's not true. Yeah. I'm about to make a bed. Yeah, so you later... Watch crazy people swim. Later today... Uh, I'm going over to my good buddy's house and Taylor and I are, are actually moving. Um, we're moving back to East Stroudsburg. So we'll be moving back there. We'll probably start moving here like this week, right? Next week? Oh well, yeah, we go to Chicago this week. So um, after, after this upcoming week, we're gonna be moving stuff back and officially moving in August 1st. Um, so, as a gift to both of us, not just me, but for both of us, I am uh, having my buddy make a king size bed for us. So, uh, that's the project we're going to start working on today. Somebody back there takes up the whole entire bed. Right, Hudson? <laughs> Look at him back there. <laughs> So, but this is something that we've wanted to do for a while is vlog because I don't know like our life isn't the most interesting but I feel like with um, having a baby and another baby on the way um, it would be I don't know it's kind of cool that we could upload this to the internet and then our children you know as they get older can look back on on like their milestones and and how they're you know, kind of, because like when you're one and two years old, three years old, even probably up to five, six, you don't really remember things. Mm -hmm. So like you can go back and look at those videos and our children can be like, oh, I was like this. Like, yeah. And it's also different for Hudson too, because he has muscle disease. So kind of tracking his progress is really interesting and kind of getting it out there too. And that way when he's older, he can look back and see all the things he's accomplished. Yeah. I mean, cause yeah. there's they're like, there's certain things like, I mean, we're on our way to therapy right now with him and he, uh, like he's at therapy. He goes places to therapy twice a week and then he has people come in the house twice a week to work with him. And, um, like that, this is stuff that he probably won't remember when he's older, right. but us tracking it and, and showing him all the time, I think is awesome. And it'll allow him to, to kind of see where he started and, and you know, where he's at as he watches the video. So, I mean, this is something that I don't know if we're going to upload, like we're not going to upload every day most likely, but you know, maybe at least once a week and just kind of make a huge, a big video once a week or twice a week about, you know, what we've done through the week. Cause I mean, let's be honest, our life isn't the most <laughs> interesting, uh, on a daily basis. Yeah, I mean, but the Chicago, we could vlog in Chicago and that'll be cool. Yeah, this is actually our, gonna be our second time in Chicago this summer. We, were, cool. we went to visit uh, my family in Indiana and Michigan, so we were there for actually, uh, what, a week? And so we went to Chicago. This will be our second time this summer, um, but we're actually going for a convention that has to deal with uh, muscle disorders and stuff for, just so, you know, we kind of, you know, we're first time parents, and also, you know, no one in our family has had to deal with this, so like, uh, it's something that we have a lot of questions and things that, you know, we don't really know much about it. So I think it's it's something that's going to help us, you know, kind of um, get an understanding of it. Yeah, I think too it would be cool to make a video kind of dedicated to what Hudson has in case other babies out there get diagnosed with it or something similar. Because I know when we first found out with Hudson, like, I think the amount of people they told us that has Hudson's disease is like 30 in the United States. So I think it would be really cool to kind of explain his muscle disease, kind of introduce you to him and us, because we don't really have any video that does that. No. I mean, we had, so like funny story, well, I guess it's not really funny, but like we actually had a video done before we had gotten married yeah. about um, how we met and everything. And um, I, I'm not laughing at the situation, but um, so the guy that was originally our videographer and photographer um, passed away. Um, like suddenly. Suddenly, yes. It was a. Uh, I'm not going to go too much into detail about it, but um, so all that stuff was gone. Like all of our. The video was never really completed. And so. And then our next photographers who we liked a ton they just didn't do videography or we didn't we chose not to get it done so you know we never really actually sent a 
a video or did a video about how we actually met. I know years back when I was about 30 pounds lighter <laughs> before uh, children, we did like these challenge videos on YouTube and people liked them. But, uh, you know, it was really hard at the time because I was uh, commuting every day to college about an hour. Yeah, we uh, were still living at my parents. Yeah, we were living at Taylor's parents' house. Um, I was also playing baseball at the time. And then when I had transferred back closer home, um, school was just hectic. And so now I feel like our lives are, even though it's a little hectic because, you know, we got a baby on the way and, and Hudson, you know, we're always running around doing stuff with him. Um, it's still hectic, but we have more time to, to be in front of the camera. Like, we're not so busy every single day that we're like, oh, I just want to lay in bed. Like, and I think, too, moving back to the Berg will kind of ease up on our timing, too, because right now where we are, we're 30 minutes from our family and from the places that we work, so I feel like, as crazy as it sounds, cutting that 30 minutes of travel time will give us more time at home to do things and more time to kind of... Like if I was going to work and I wanted to vlog in the morning, I could vlog in the morning before work. And then when he gets home, because he'll beat me home, he could vlog with Hudson. So I think it'll give us more time to kind of do things, yeah. which will be nicer. And then we'll be closer to family and kind of like a different surrounding. So. Yeah, I mean, my goal with this is to kind of every morning um, before I go to work, you know, I can vlog while I'm driving to work and stuff like that. And then, you know, I can't really vlog too much at work right now because one, during the winter, or like I guess for what eight months out of the year nine months out of the year I work um, in a school so those of you that don't know I'm actually a certified health and physical education teacher and um, still haven't found a full-time position which has been rough and that's kind of been difficult for for me and you know I have rough days where I'm I'm in a bad mood that Taylor's had to deal with because it's really frustrating uh, when I can't find a job and you know, I know that I'd be an asset to any school, and I think that I would, you know, really uh, make a, a really good teacher. Um, but, you know, it's one of those things, it's a flooded market. Politics. Not only that, it's just a, it's a flooded market. Um, there's tons of teachers out there with not a lot of jobs, um, especially up around here. Um, Pennsylvania is a great state to be a teacher as far as benefits and pay, and so a lot of people take advantage of that, and you know, a lot of kids that I graduated from school with were from New York, you know, New Jersey. The tri-state area is really good when it comes to teachers, so, you know, still chugging along with that, but I still work in the school, um, and then in the winter, or in the summer, rather, I work at a pool. So, but in those instances, you can't you can't record other people. Yeah. So I can't really just sit there at the pool and, and uh, record um, people swimming and stuff like it would be funny but obviously we all know you can't do that so um, yeah so I'll, I'll try to record in the morning maybe talk and stuff and then after work um, right now after work my goal is to, to go over to my buddy Carrie's house who you'll meet later and uh, build the bed and you know we're always kind of doing stuff whether I go I go play basketball a lot of times after work and hang out with friends and stuff like that I also so this is gonna be our channel about our family for the most part but I do intend on vlogging different things so you know I will say that my friends are pretty funny yeah I just feel like overall kind of like lifestyle family things like that just See, anything like, that grow, we're doing yeah so like, uh, for instance, in a couple weeks, uh, the day before Hudson's birthday party, which we'll also vlog, but uh, I'm go, I have uh, a fantasy football draft and I'm gonna be hanging out with friends and my dad and doing that. And so I'll probably vlog that. I think it's a lot of fun and you'll get to meet some of the, the people. I mean, our circle's small. We have a, we have a small group of uh, friends that we've kind of known for a while and uh, it's a lot of fun. So um, that's basically it. Yeah, and then we got moving. Yeah, we're well, moving. Chicago, we got moving, which will be fun to kind of document, like, starting from the bottom and then kind of making our place look really good and getting out of the hellhole we live in now. Yeah, I mean, and, our, and, our we still live in an apartment, and they're not yeah. the nicest places. Like, even our new place, it's a lot nicer than what we live in now, but it's, it's not, not it's not ideally what we want. Like, right. we have, a, we have a, a lot that we would like to do when it comes to a home and... And things but and that's what's frustrating for me I mean, I'm gonna be 25 years old most of my friends have established jobs already and buying homes and you know I'm not there yet due to you know not being able to find a job um, so it sucks but yeah and we're gonna make the place look as nice as we can and uh, yeah and then be fun. we have baby peas baby, baby shower, shower. 
or sprinkle rather. And then we have Hudson's second birthday, which we did a really cool video of him last year when he turned one, so you can go and check that out. We'll do another one for his second birthday. I just think they're fun, again, to kind of document his life. And then even looking back on those videos, you'll even see when you see him in our vlogs how different he is and how much more of a personality kind of comes through him now. So it's just nice to kind of look back and be like, look where he was here and look where he is now and just kind of keep doing that. I plan to do that with every birthday that he has because I think it's really fun to kind of watch back. Yeah, and then like she said, we have Paisley coming. Yeah, and then we have Baby. So, so you'll that'll get to see be, Baby. Yeah, that'll be a lot of fun as well. So yeah. There's a lot of stuff that we got, you know, I think that people would like, especially like, I'm not going to say people we don't know. Um, I think our viewers are going to be more people that we know. Yeah. Uh, Family. Family, people that don't get to see us all the time, it kind of gives them a dive into you know what we're doing. Because like for instance, Taylor's brother lives out in Seattle. Mm -hmm. He doesn't get to see us a lot. Like he just saw Hudson for the first time, I think, in over a year easily. Yes, it's Easter. Um, and then uh, like I have family in Indiana, um, so and even Taylor's family in Jersey. Like most of my family is closer than Taylor's, but I mean even Taylor's family in Jersey, you know, we don't see them every single day. So this will at least allow them. To see, you know, what we do on our on our daily daily life. So we're but, not that boring, I promise. No, we're definitely not. <laughs> I don't think so. So, um, but yeah. So we'll uh, keep recording throughout the day, and you know, get get you to see what we're uh, what we're up to. You really should be like. Hey, are you ready to go swimming? Are you gonna go swimming? You're sleepy, huh? Are you gonna go swimming? We're here. Who's gonna go swimming with you, daddy or mommy? Mom. Mama? <laughs> Why? Mm. Can you say dada? Mm. Oh. Are we gonna go swimming? Mama. You gonna do the backstroke? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, let's go. Therapy was finished. Huh? <laughs> I said alpha change. Therapy's done. All done. So Hudson had pool therapy from at one o'clock. That finished. And now we are on there. I don't know. I think that guy was cracked out on drugs. I think um, so too. He looked like he's out at the wheel. Yeah. Um anyways. So we are now on our way home. It's so crooked. It's hard to hold the camera up like this, Taylor. Is that better? No. That's worse? Yeah. No, that's good. Then your arms are going. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just joking. She's driving. I'm sitting here trying to do this. Um, but yeah, so we're on our way home. Gonna grab some some food and then Hudson's actually got speech therapy today. So we're gonna do that. Um, yeah, we're supposed to get really bad thunderstorms today. It was like ungodly hot the last two days. Like with humidity, I think it was like over a hundred. So I don't know, Pennsylvania's weird. It's like some days, it's like, so the next two days after today is supposed to be like 70. Yeah, nice. So. Yeah, that's it. Hudson's out. He's taking a nap. We are in Allentown, which is, you know, not the, the nicest area. Um, yeah. So, oh, and we saw a guy passed out at the wheel. So, entertaining day so far. Um, but, that's it. Um, I don't know if she's going to vlog that or not. 
it's kind of a, uh, a big one. Um, I don't think we really told a lot of people, and, and just so people know, like, the reason I'm not there is, uh, unfortunately, financially, we can't afford to take days off work right now. We're just not, we just can't, and we tried to schedule it for a time that I could make it, but, um, unfortunately, I just I can't make it. I have to go to work, so, um, we're also shorthanded at work this week, so, um, I can't make it, so it kind of stinks, but it's an important one. I don't think we really told anybody, but, um, so, uh, actually, the last ultrasound, um, the baby, uh, the stomach had measured small, and so, um, they brought, normally she'd probably be done with ultrasounds, but they brought her back for another one, because they want to make sure the stomach is growing normal, um, so that's what we're hoping for. We're hoping she goes today, and I get a call later saying that um, that the stomach's measuring normal and everything's good. That was kind of the 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 what what the doctors had said they believe will happen is that everything will be fine. Um, they said it could just be the baby small, so we don't really know. Um, so hopefully today it, it goes well. Uh, so, I mean, they said it could be a couple things. If the baby isn't measuring uh, well, it, it could be. So, Taylor had some issues in the previous. Um, it wasn't really the pregnancy. The, the, the labor uh, was difficult, and she she had some stuff go on there that we haven't really talked about either. But um, So, it could, could have to deal with that as well. Um, and the doctors are just very cautious because of, you know, Hudson has a... Uh, very rare muscle disease um, it's not debilitating or anything like that but it's something that only 30 people in the world have and it's very rare and so because doctors aren't a hundred percent sure on all of that um, you know they're very just very cautious so uh, that's um, I think that's why a lot of them are are testing Taylor a little bit more and just they just want to make sure everything's good so hopefully I get a call in about an hour two hours about how it went and that everything's good and then I can uh, I can talk about it and hopefully tonight um, she could talk about it as well she might be working late tonight so I'm not 100% sure but um, hopefully I'll uh, I'll keep the video updated and we'll see uh, what's going on but hopefully easy day at work for me today my goal today at work is to call our current electric and cable company and get that canceled at our current place and um, call the new cable company a new electric company and uh, get it set up in the new place so that's the goal that we actually got a text from the landlord yesterday saying that we can start moving stuff in now so uh, hopefully we're in there sooner than later and uh, that'll that's exciting for us too so but I'll be back shortly Alright, so work is done. Man, for it for me thinking it was gonna be a dead day, it was not the best day, but you know, it is what it is. So I'm leaving work now. Um I might stop at my sister's for a little bit because she lives up this way. So I might stop in, see her, because she just got a new place, so I might check that out. Um if I don't know, I might go there or I don't know, my buddy wants me to play basketball, but I think I gotta go pick up Hudson, so I'm gonna go see what my sister's doing, I think, and then uh, go get the baby and head home. I'm starving. I didn't get to eat anything yet today. Um, normally I pack, but because we're leaving for Chicago on Thursday, because like normally what I do is I'll normally cook on like Monday or Sunday night, and then I'll eat that throughout the week, kind of like a meal prep, but it's, you know, it's always like rice and chicken, but I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna say like I constantly eat healthy or anything like that, but, um, so I'll eat that normally throughout the week for lunch and stuff, but because we're leaving, I didn't want to cook and then it go to waste, and then, uh, so, and then today I thought it was gonna be a dead day at work because it had rained here and it was actually cold today, it was like in the 60s, so I was like, oh, well, I'll, uh, I'll just, get um I'll just eat when I get home because I'll be done by four o'clock and that wasn't the case so people actually came to the pool and everything so it was a little rough but so I'm starving 
but uh, hopefully my sister has food, so. So I just left my sister's. Her place is actually really nice, first time. I, I, Taylor and I actually were looking to rent that place, um, but it was just too small for people who have a child and another one on the way. But uh, they did it up real nice, so it looks um, looks really good. And she gave me some pizza. So if, whenever you you want me to go somewhere, if there's food there, I'm probably gonna probably gonna be there. I'll make sure I make it. Um, but now I'm on my way to go get Hudson because Taylor is still at work, eight o'clock at night. She's pregnant and still on her feet working. I feel bad, so I'm gonna go get Hudson um, from Taylor's mom, and then we're gonna head home, and I don't know, if, depending on when Taylor's home, we might see her on the vlog, but Hudson and I, he hasn't ate much, I guess, from what I've been told, so try to get him some food. Um, I got a shower, and then just hang out. So uh, we'll see. Uh, maybe I'll I'll vlog a little bit of Hudson when he's uh, when I get him and he's in the car. Hopefully he's happy. So see you in a bit. All right, we are home, and the little monster is sleepy. He's ready for night nights already, mm. aren't you? Mm. Are you sleepy? Uh-huh. So, Taylor's still at work. And we are officially home. So, I think it's night-night time. Can you say bye-bye? Can you blow the camera a kiss? Oh, he did it. So, that's going to do it for our Boring Tuesday, or actually it's Wednesday, our Boring Wednesday, or no, today is Tuesday, sorry, yep, I don't even know what day it is, because it's been crazy, so that'll be it, see y'all tomorrow.